good morning welcome back to my channel say good morning it could be any time of the day like it's 10 to 1 here it's not even good morning <laughs> uh, but this morning I have found or today I have found my ring light that I used to use on my phone and my old camera so I thought instead of getting my phone <laughs> and using that terrible light I thought I would try this so let's put that on there a second don't know whether it will work because this is a touch screen um, camera but the light is so much better <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is use this ring light and it's compact enough that I can leave it in the camera bag the one that I put in my handbag um, and it's only small I think I got it on eBay ages ago I think they still do them and whatever um, but this will be perfect for me vlogging in here of an evening and even during the day because it's so dark we've got the lamps on um, I put them on this morning haven't got the big light on or anything but it's just so dark and it's dark out to be honest um, and I thought this would be perfect for the light wherever it's dark <laughs> um, I need to pop to Sainsbury's today to go to Argos yeah it might sound a bit confusing but Argos is in our Sainsbury's um, so, and I've click and collected um, two items which are Mikey and Ollie's Chris Christmas presents which are like cut up fruit and veg because they are getting a um, kitchen for Christmas so uh, Casey said if I can buy some food for it then that would be really good and um, the one that I've bought actually comes with like a um, wooden knife thing so they can actually cut the fruit and veg in half um, I think it's velcroed or magnetic or whatever it is um, but it's a lot better than just a plain bit of fruit or whatever um, and it does look it does look quite good so I got a fruit pack and a vegetable pack because it was two for 15 uh, or 15 pound um, so I got that and um, yeah I'm gonna go and collect that I'm gonna get a bit of shopping while I'm in there then um, I just need like some bits and pieces drink bin bags what did I say I needed tea bags <laughs> no, I keep forgetting about the tea bags and uh, no doubt I'll walk out there and still forget the tea bags but never mind or need milk and anyway you don't really need to know my shopping list then I'm gonna meet Ian at the garage for a little while I'm gonna pick up some food while, like some lunch while we're in while I'm in there um, then meet Ian at the garage for a little while and yeah that is what's happening today um that's about it i have put a face of makeup on today i've actually put foundation on even though i'm gonna put a mask on and then go in the shop but um i was about to because i cream my this, face every day foundation lasts twice as long now because you only have to do it to the black <laughs> he's saying do i just have to do to there no i did do my whole face um but i was gonna because what i normally do is just use a press powder and put that over my face um, but I cream my face every day whether I put makeup on or not it's just a simple um, daily face moisturizer or whatever it is um, and I went to get the powder and I was like oh I might put some foundation on today um, and I've just scooped my hair back into a ponytail because it's a bit greasy but we don't need to know about that I'm gonna put a coat on and put a mask on so um, this will probably all get wiped off eventually never mind so we're gonna I'm gonna get some socks on and get ready to leave I'll get my shoes on as well not going out bare, not barefoot but with just socks on and then go Sainsbury's it's now quarter past four um, I went and got the kids toys or fruit and veg I'll show you what it looks like but this is the uh, fruit set and you see it comes with a knife and everything is sort of you can cut in half I thought it was just really good and then I got a veg set uh, to go with it as well so yeah we'll probably be eating lots of this after Christmas <laughs> where the kids will be putting it on a plate or Mikey will be putting it on a plate <laughs> you mean pretending to eat pretending to eat actually yeah eating the plastic. no it's wooden they're wooden so yeah, um, went to Sainsbury's, oh my god, anyone would think that the world was about to end and the shops would never open again. I thought the Tesco here was busy, 
that was like it was Christmas Eve and no one had got any shopping yet. It was so busy. Um, but I got what I needed to get. I think I was in there for like an hour. And all I needed to get was that from the Argos part, which I literally walked straight up to the till. There was no one there. And then walking around getting um, dinner for tonight. So we're going to have like a little fry up thing. Um, burgers, sausages, egg chips and that. And um, Bacon, beans, fried slice. <laughs> Mushrooms, black pudding. I'm I didn't, get, I didn't get black pudding. They didn't have any. I didn't get mushrooms. That's good because I like mushrooms. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, and I need to get like bin bags and anyway, what I rolled off my shopping list this morning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it was just, <laughs> oh, it was just crazy. And then I met Ian at the garage. We was there for a little while. And then we'll come home because it's freezing cold. Ian's back is really hurting him. Um, and it's just cold. But I do want to get in the loft later because I want to get the Christmas stuff down. Because, well, I want to put the tree up. Why? Because you said I've got to help you and I can't lift nothing. If you're feeling better, that is. If you're not feeling better, then don't worry. Um, but most of it's in a big box anyway, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, but that might happen later. Um, if not, then I'll do it tomorrow. And we can put well, we can put the tree up and the decorations and bits and pieces. So, oh, I'm just warming up now. My hands are tingling. But, yeah. Good evening. It is dead on 12 o'clock midnight. Um, I'm just going to roll this vlog into tomorrow as well because I haven't really vlogged that much today. Uh, I've been working on my socks. I'm not far from the toe, to be honest. So this is as what I've got so far. The yarn is so soft. Um, it's so nice, and it's got the sparkle in it as well. So really looking forward to finishing those. Well, this, and then casting on the other one. Um, I did um, make the arms and the horns for the monster. So I will do that at some point and um, I do, we didn't get any decorations down today just because Ian's back was hurting him and I just sort of put YouTube on and didn't move after dinner. Um, but I want to get the monster done before Advent starts because I want to start the litmus cow and I don't want to have too many little bits and pieces on the go. But anyway. I shall see you all tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's now Sunday and um, me and Ian have got all the stuff, uh, the Christmas stuff out of the loft, it's just in the hallway at the minute. I don't think you can see it properly. Um, but I need to tidy this room first because it is just a mess and <laughs> there's stuff everywhere and it just needs a general tidy up and then that way um, I can get the tree out and the bits and pieces because I don't want to get into too much of a muddle because then I will just like don't want to go any further um so this is what the room looks like currently bit of a mess um we had bacon sandwiches this morning that's why the ketchup is there I don't know why the salt is out um but this general mess here is Ian's um really really bugs me but <laughs> I say to him that the coffee table is should be clean and tidy but he will work on something and stuff will just get left there which really bugs me but yeah also the same as up here so his coke can he's now ringing me his coke can and bits and pieces hold on one second so yeah um i'm gonna give this room a general tidy up and then I will show you what it looks like before I get the Christmas stuff out and then what it looks like afterwards. So it will be like a before, before and then an after. <laughs> um, so yeah, just like bits and pieces everywhere and it just needs a tidy up. Um, this, I have tidied, tried to tidy this up a little bit. It's um, two project bags. This has got like my headphones and bits and pieces in that that come in handy while I'm sat here I normally just tuck it behind um so my arm is really hurting <laughs> um 
but yeah I'm just gonna have a little general tidy up I've set an alarm for four o'clock because that is when my shop update is gonna go live and um, yeah that's pretty much it so I will catch you up when I have sorted this room out a little bit so I've tidied up a bit this is the before and um, so I've moved like all the boxes that were down there um, I am going to be taking the stuff off this shelf and that shelf there with the mortar stuff on it um, because I've got some Christmas ornaments and that um, I have got this shelf that is empty I have normally just got glass jars on there that are empty anyway <laughs> um, so this is the before and in one two three <laughs> so this has taken me all day but I'm really pleased with it so yeah I'll give you a little walk around so we've got some tinsel up on here um, some bits still need to be sorted out this really cute little um, tea light holder that I got from I can't remember um, a clip that needs to go in the bedroom and they are receipts for parcels uh, just some of my candle holders little reindeer one and a sleigh and then if I pan you around here I've got a snowman and a reindeer and some tinsel on the pictures we've got some chains they're very old-fashioned hi <laughs> they're very very old-fashioned but I love them and it just reminds me of Christmas when I was younger um, so I love them I know a lot of people don't but I do we've got some tinsel over the mirror then up here we've got really beautiful snowman in a snow globe whoops that one's spun round must be drunk <laughs> a wire snowman penguin polar bear uh, this little tea light holder thing as well so it's um, Santa in his sleigh snow globe and then another penguin that does actually light up it's got like a fake tea light in there uh, We've also got here the advent calendar that I haven't filled up because I can't get some of the doors open and the doors that I could get open I was going to put chocolates in it's impossible to get celebrations in that little box <laughs> this is my advent calendar um, ready to go and then here I've just got like another tea light holder thing um, sorry about the light Winnie the Pooh stocking that I've had since I was little I need to do something with this plant. Uh, down here we have Santa and reindeer. I think I might remove the reindeer because I think I might knock it over the chair. <laughs> um, but this is the tree. And my angel. I have like some lights up at the window, just the normal curtain lights that I have. My desk is a mess, so excuse. But up here we've got my knitted nativity, just with some lights. Um, and I've also put um, a skein of yarn in a bauble. Um, on my tree, I have some quite special baubles and things. So I have two angels for both of my nans. We have this angel that was um, bought in Malta for Ian's nan. Uh, we have this one that I crocheted out of one of the... Um, kits from a magazine didn't have enough to do the legs <laughs> um, here we have some 3d printed baubles that Bill's has kindly made us we've got five of them all in all um, we've got some baubles that my sister has made it has got a name on it somewhere it's the wrong way around so that one's got Ian on it and it's got some Maltesers in it my one is here hiding she is actually selling these on her Facebook, um, so go check those out if you're interested. But my fairy, my fairy was from Poundland, I don't know how many years ago. It's done me well, so I'm pleased with that. Um, the other thing, so the, um, what are these, chains just sort of cross over. But I had to put one further back than the other because our ceiling is a weird um but out here turn the light on i have um got the advent calendar that i made and i've put little pegs on it i haven't put anything in this advent calendar one 
I didn't make it to be a usable advent calendar. I made it to be decorative. So I sewed all the envelopes down and all the presents have been tied up. I can actually squeeze in the side of these. So I might do, this one has come undone. This is the aftermath of <laughs> everything. So I need to put that away. And the other half is here. So we've got one half on that corner here and then the other half next to the bedroom door here um, then just here we've got a china ornament I've put some tinsel up there because I just had some left over and then here and here I've got a crochet snowflake I have got a wreath for the door that my sister uh, made me a couple of years ago um, and I'm going to put that on the door that normally gets left behind and I forget about it <laughs> um, but yeah that is as far as I've got today <laughs> um, I don't think there's much more to actually do I need to find somewhere for the stockings uh, I do normally hang them like Pooh Bear there I normally hang one on the other side but the uh, screw has come out the wall for the curtain tie back thing so I don't want to be putting anything on that um, but oh my back I need to find somewhere for my advent candle and I might um, put that in front here I'm not sure yet or if we go in focus come on I might put my bowl here that is my litmus cow I've got my cocktail bowl thing I might put that there and then put the advent um, candle maybe on the end of the unit here or something so we can see it. I don't want to put anything on the coffee table. <laughs> Everything's so dark now. I don't want to put anything on the coffee table because it will just become a mess and it won't look pretty and it's not worth it. Um, I could always put it on this other corner here. I think that might be better. Um, so then we're not walking past it if we do walk out of the room. But, oh, yeah, can I lean back? <laughs> um, I'm so glad that it's done. Um, sorry that I didn't actually film me doing it, but it just took forever. And it's half past five now. But um, I did it a different way this time. Normally, I get the tree out and the tree goes up first. All the decorations go on the tree and the tree gets finished. Um, then I tinker with where I want to put things and so on and so forth where this time I did it completely the other way around. I moved everything off the shelves. I then put everything on the shelves that I wanted so this shelf up here and the other shelf, that shelf up there and then I put the tree up. Um, and I just felt so disorganised. I felt like so all out of sorts and everything and I was just like I don't really know like the order that I, I'm trying to go in. Um, I still have some bits and pieces that I need to tidy up like the hoover. Um, Ian's got a spare sword here that Casey and Mike gave him. He's got one on a stand over there. I haven't taken that down because it's not really in the way. So I need to find somewhere for this. Put the hoover back. I don't know how my tinsel has got any tinsel left on it because every year when I get the tinsel out it ends up on the floor in little pieces. <laughs> um, so yeah I just need to uh, put these last bits and pieces away and hide the, well not hide but put away the boys toys that I got yesterday and just have a general tidy up again. Um, but now I'm going to sit here and not do a lot. <laughs> um, but I'm really pleased and I think Ian will be pleased. He said, oh, I, I, I can't wait to come in and see it all Christmassy and um, I FaceTimed him earlier on. Um, and the tree was up and I went oh look and he went no I don't want to see it yet I don't want to see it yet so he loves Christmas he really does um, and I think it's more Christmassy now I've put this the chains up as well and the tinsel and yeah um, normally here if you've been with me for a while I normally have my light bulbs around here my crocheted light bulbs I've actually put them on the shelf up there can't remember if you saw them or not but they are actually up there see if I can zoom in a bit um, and I have hung them with like the command strips on the edge so 
as you can see my desk is still a mess and I need to tidy that up um, I was trying yeah I did I said didn't I, I was trying to put the um, celebrations in that <laughs> advent calendar <laughs> oh god I don't know where I can get smaller individual sweets from it's like I'm going to have to put a smarty in each one <laughs> Just this tiny, tiny handful of Smarties or something. Oh, God. Smarties. M&M's. What else are there? It's quite a few. But, yeah, so this has been my weekend. And I'm pleased, but I'm now broken. <laughs> um, I'm going to think over the next couple of days on what I really want to do with the advent calendar out there. I could always put sweets in it and then... Um, because yeah, I was going to use that for Ian and just let him have a sweet every day <laughs> like he's my child <laughs> um, but just yeah something for him to open because normally I buy chocolate advent calendars but I just haven't this year I um, don't know why I just haven't um, there's still time there's still time if they've got any there, that is um, but yeah I did have a plan for this year last year um, that I was going to do a advent calendar for my sister and Ian so instead of buying them presents I was going to do an advent calendar Chloe and Casey Casey's friend Chloe did this a couple of years ago and it was amazing the gifts that they got each other it was before the boys were born um, the gifts that they got each other it was so good um, and I just thought that I could buy silly little things um, but I just never got round to it and I just thought that that would be such a good idea um, and I thought I could buy things throughout the year as well um, but maybe it's something for next year and um, I'll have to start early and just pick up bits and pieces like I was going to buy makeup and little trinket things for Casey um, not necessarily put them in an advent calendar but sort of maybe bag them up and yeah so I might do that for next year even if it's a 12 day um, and, and do it that way but anyway I'm going to stop rambling and um, hope you've enjoyed this little Christmassy part. <laughs> um, my yarn did go live um, at four o'clock, so thank you for the orders that have already been placed, and I appreciate every single one of them. I will get them out in the post tomorrow, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am gonna just finish tidying up here. I don't even know what we're having for dinner, to be honest. Ian's at the garage. He is helping Bills put up some like. CCTV monitor things I don't know um, so yeah I think my snowman is drunk I think he's trying to fall over already <laughs> um, they normally get kicked to one side so I don't even know why I bothered blowing them up but um, yeah that's that I'm gonna go and I shall see you shortly so I can't remember if I said earlier on that we was going to get dinner um, so we've just come back I didn't take the camera with me we literally went and got it and come back so we went to Smoke Shed in Hoddesdon. I'm using my ring light because, um, yeah. But I've decided to put it on the tripody thing because, anyway. So we're going to have some dinner. My lips are so dry. I think it's where I'm hungry and thirsty from all the hard work that I've done today. And I think Ian likes the decorations. I do. And uh, so, yeah. I'm going to end... Apart from this one. Why? I think these should do. Huh? I think the middle bit should go up. It don't ever go up. Maybe I want to change. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I'm going to end the weekend vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.